Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another beautiful day lies ahead of our beautiful nation as we continue on now with a new and clear objective. That's right, folks, the nuclear city and nuclear power will soon arrive at our beautiful country. We've got some big plans. Many of you have suggested some excellent mods that I've been looking into as well to introduce some more variety into our cities, into our nation as a whole. And uh, I've done a little bit of digging of my own as well, so very excited for our planning. We will be starting the session with taking a look at some of the existing issues, not too many of them though. And then we're going to dive into the uh, nuclear city planning, yes. I want to mention, as always, folks, if you've been enjoying this series, if you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know. Leave a like and a comment. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. I look at the number of likes to get a quick read on people's interests in sort of the various series that are happening on the channel. And I do also read through all of the comments and try to uh, respond to them one way or another. With that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get this party started, shall we? Uh, first order of business, I just want to touch on a quick reminder. That's why I was kind of like focusing the camera around this area for so long. This is roughly where our nuclear city is going to exist. In fact, if we take a look at the mini-map, uh, we will find that... Where is it? Which one is uranium ore? Uranium ore exists in a pretty dense pocket right over here. Uh, there is also some uranium, unfortunately, to be found over here uh, among the mines of Moria. I don't know if we'll be able to extract any of it. Again, uranium wasn't added into the game until after we had already developed our industry in the area. Uh, so, you know, our scientists only recently discovered the deposits, and now, unfortunately, uh, we can't retroactively uh, fit in the appropriate mines and whatnot. So that's a, that's, a, that's a bit unfortunate. It's not the end of the world, though, because the truth of the matter is there's plenty of uranium elsewhere. We can get some across the river over here, roughly in this region. Uh, we can also actually get some further down the river uh, over here uh, when the when the time comes for us to, well, need more, which maybe won't take too long. Point being, if extraction is happening over here and over here, where would it be best to have a nuclear power plant? Uh, what I'm thinking is if the city itself... Oh, it's a, it's a tough one. I, it's something I've been mulling over for a while. It'd be quite nice to have a lakeside city, but don't forget there's a lot of oil available over here as well. Uh, if we're generating nuclear power over here and generating all that pollution and stuff over here, maybe it becomes a riverfront city, like nestled in this mountain. We have a little riverfront and it expands over here into this massive tract. I think that would be quite nice. Uh, and then across the river over here as well, of course, we have even more uranium mining going on. So we'll have to kind of create a buffer zone over here. Anyway, getting a little ahead of myself, I just want to point out where the uranium ore was and what we have to kind of plan around when the time comes later in today's session. Uh, but for now, the first thing I do want to do is tackle some of the issues over here that I kind of glazed over and some of y'all pointed out in the comments. And I realized, yeah, I need to urgently fix some of these things. And uh, maybe we'll get all this up and running as well. We'll see how long it's taking, because I definitely want to touch on the nuclear city today. Our population is looking pretty good, 61.4. Yeah, that's not bad. If we take a look at this year as a whole, since it is the 31st of December 2002, this is literally the entire year, it's been rather steady. A very slow growth, it looks like. Hopefully that will accelerate as we get more of these apartment complexes done in the area over here. Uh, and that should definitely help uh, bolster our population. The 21 pluses living with their parents has dropped significantly when we did the uh, mass um, diaspora of young adults, I suppose. Um, and then hopefully we'll have another quick dip as some of these get built up because uh, we saw some good dips. However, there's that slow climb again now. And I would like to, uh, to, to stop it before it gets too high. Uh, what we could do actually is right off the bat is move quite a few 21 pluses over uh, right now, in fact, if we wanted to. Uh, we have room over here, but the idea is that eventually, as these buildings overflow, uh, we need to make sure that there is uh, there is room for, for them as well. Uh, with that said, you know what? I think we can pull at least some 21 pluses over. Let's get just a handful more. Just a handful more. Why not? Adults still living with their parents. Increase the range here. Where is the most dense accumulation? I could pick some people up from Brixtonia, actually. Uh, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. We have a fair bit over here as well. I mean, these guys haven't uh, had a chance to move in a very long time, actually. Same thing goes for Brixtonia. So why don't we go ahead and move some folks from Brixtonia, uh, and then move some folks from uh, from Veterinkograd as well. From the old capital to the uh, <laughs> the heights of Uprising Grad, as it were. And then from, uh, well, at first, Brixtonia here. 
go ahead and pop a bunch of them over here, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll, why don't we fill these two buildings up? Why don't we do that? And then the rest we can leave empty. Go ahead and we'll just kind of empty this building out for the most part. And we'll scoop up a handful from another one adjacent here as well. Because again, they will spread out uh, after we've moved these guys over. They will spread out to, to fill up the empty spots themselves as well. Where are we? Over here. There we go. Ooh, already topped up, eh? Okay. Or rather, yeah, already topped up. Sure, let's leave it at that. We have room for... Sure, we can, we can double the number here. We can double the number here. Let's... Where am I going here? Over here. I'm just trying to find a central location to empty from. Or up over here, why don't we? Relocate. Fill up down over here. And we'll pick up from another spot as well. Again, just to just to spread the love, as it were. From over here, sure, why not? But a quite a big congregation of uh, of twenty one pluses living with their parents here. There you go. Empty this place out a bit. Good stuff. Um, I do wonder if I don't want to do another one. <laughs> it's it's an ever growing problem. It's it's a consistent problem. It's one that always will chase us and haunt us. Not much we can really do about it. Let's go ahead and sure from this central location. Why don't we? Why don't we drop some people off down over here? One more building. Um, I see you still have some room. Sure, this this one. Oh. Oh, okay, right. These, I, I, one of the reasons why I want to use these mods, some of the new mods that I've been, uh, uh, that have been like kind of suggested to me, is because we are starting to see a lot of sameness in our city layouts and the city look. Uh, so I do want to break that up a fair bit. Um, and, and many of you have pointed that out as well. Is like, you know, maybe it'd be nice to have have some visual uh, breaks. And I wholeheartedly agree. It'd be nice to change things up a little bit for multiple reasons: for us, for our citizens, for the glory of our nation, for all sorts of reasons. All right. That looks pretty good. I think that'll that'll do the trick for now. Again, it's not the biggest... It, it, it's not the biggest drop. Not as big as the ones we've done before. But it's something uh, until we... While we wait for these buildings to get done. With that said, you know what? Another thing I want to do is actually go ahead and just pay for these roads. We have the money. Well, we have the money. There is no reason to wait for them. They're not big construction projects. They don't employ multiple... Like, they don't employ that many people. Uh, and we're just kind of wasting time. Whereas at least with the uh, the big buildings, they employ quite a few people, and I can justify the the time sink there because at least we're tackling the employment problems, you know. So I feel like we can at least get some of these roads done and get uh, get our get our citizens working on some of these apartment complexes and whatnot. I I really wish you could more conveniently commission the building of uh, of roads that have already been placed as uh, higher level roads. Again, the shift, click, and drag doesn't work unless you're also upgrading the road, which maybe is a bit of an oversight, but uh, whatever. Early access game. It does so much so correctly, it's allowed to need improvement in some fields. <laughs> Otherwise, it may as well be the uh, completed game, right? Now we're looking good. Looking good. Honestly, though, this game does some things significantly better than many completed and shipped AAA titles, so... When I say something like, oh yeah, it's unfortunate that the game doesn't do X, Y, Z, I mean that in the most positive manner. It, it, I mean it in the sense of, like, it has set its own bar so high that I almost expect it to, you know, get X, Y, Z, whatever I'm mentioning right as well. Please don't take my statement to be a slight against the uh, quality of this game that does a ridiculous amount of stuff so nicely. Um, Alright, I think that's a, a good enough start. We'll, we'll take a look once once the upgrades are done. Because I'm sure there's still some, um, there's definitely still some out over here, but I'm trying to lose the track of which ones I've clicked on and which ones I haven't. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let time move forward. We will enter the new year, uh, and I will begin planning some of the stuff I was alluding to earlier with regards to uh, some stuff that I forgot uh, over here. So, uh, yeah, hit play. Let time move forward. Our economy and stuff is all doing fantastically well. I don't think we have to concern ourselves with, uh, with any of that um, anytime in the near future, to be perfectly honest. There is, though... There is a point to be made about being a bit more uh, cognizant, I suppose, of our waste. Um, particularly with regards to a lot of the uh, bricks and gravel and coal. There's a lot of stuff out there that's just like sitting in storage. And I really should um, take a look at sort of reinvestigating my, my export mechanisms 
uh, to make sure that I don't have that much waste. It was brought up in the comments last session, and I've been thinking about it for a while as well. It was brought up in the comments a few sessions ago too, and I've been mulling over it ever since. I uh, just need the time. I think we'll dedicate an episode to organizing our uh, our exports, so we don't have to um, think about that, you know, ever quote unquote ever again, so to speak. Hold on here, almost. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think. Oh, these guys still need to be connected because again, unless they have road connections, they're not actually going to work on the buildings themselves. They barely made a dent in our economy. Yeah, so that's all good. This is all good. Gotta get these done, and then we'll go ahead and work on the major missing elements, which will also help with employment. We don't have any firefighters or hospitals in this area. <laughs> None. Our closest firefighters, I think, are actually all the way up over here. Um, sorry, that's the road vehicle. There we go. These guys, I mean, yeah, sure, they can reach, but the response time is not something I would like to test out. Uh, and the same goes uh, with the uh, the hospital as well. I mean, sure, they can reach, but I do not want to test that response time. Um, with that said, why don't we go ahead up over here and commission the uh, construction of, or the production of, not the construction of, production of one, two, three, four fire ladders. And where is the ambulance? One, two, three, four ambulances as well. And then we'll get back to... Let's change the car up a little bit. Uh, I also want to actually make sure that we are not exporting vehicles while we're doing this. I don't want to sell these vehicles, please. Again, they, they really got to add uh, vehicles specification when it comes to loading and unloading vehicles. I just realized it'll be faster for us to maybe just get this done first. Uh, so construction, um, equipment for citizens, I believe. Fire station. I wanted to put one. Ooh, we can actually fit one back here. Will the road connect, though? This is not a bad spot for a fire station. Fairly central. Decent coverage. Yeah, you know what? I actually don't mind it. It's like, what else are we going to fit over here? A parking lot, I suppose, but I don't think we can fit one. Hmm. I should maybe try. Construction, mods, parking lots. 32. Oh, I guess we can fit one. What was I thinking? Can we not connect one? All right, let's see what we can do over here. Pop you down like so. I can pop another one down, actually. Question is, can I connect them? Yes, I can. Well, why didn't I do this earlier then? Fair enough. Go ahead and auto build these upgraded roads. Again, this will, this is actually the right call. If I can fit parking lots and I, I should have them in here. I don't know why I didn't have them previously. Maybe I just, they, maybe they just weren't part of the clone or something. Yeah, yeah, we got the same setup as over there. Weird. Anyway, uh, these will help allow more people to reach the, uh, the, the shopping centers over here and, and pick up food and meat and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that was a bit of a, an issue last session. So hopefully it'll get sorted uh, as deliveries get more normalized over here. Uh, but back on topic, where is my fire station going then? Fire station. Could do like right at the uh, entry to this area. I wouldn't mind, again, like being as central as possible. But what is central for a region that is constantly growing more and more, right? Pop you down here. Pop down over here. Infrastructure is a little too tightly packed over here, I think. I do wonder if I pause. I hate doing this. It's a risk. Fire station? Will you? Yes, you will. Now, this is about as central as it gets. Question is, though, will the road connect? Pop you down here. Not auto building, yep. We can do this, but can we do this? Crossing not allowed. That's because of the uh, footpath. Nice. Cool, that works. And this works as well. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Go ahead and upgrade all of these roads. And what we'll need to do is the footpath. Uh, we will... Hmm. I don't want to play this. I don't think I can fit this anywhere here now. Connect you guys. Connect you over here. We can connect this up over here. Sure. I suppose I could connect... Sure, that works. 
That looks entirely intentional and previously planned. Yeah, nice. Uh, the fire station, I could allow the people to build it. It's, you know what, that's a bit of a risk. If there's a fire and one of these apartment buildings burns down, I wouldn't be able to live it down. We're gonna, we're gonna pay for this. this is, these are urgent needs. And apart from the fire station, the hospital is also fairly urgent need. Hospital, will you fit? Ah, too, way too large of a footprint. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, I would say a fire station needs more immediate central access than, than, a, than a hospital. And what we can do is over here we can put down some statues and whatnot. That was the plan in the area. But a fire station is a pretty... Uh, I find I find uh, fire stations can be pretty, like, glamorized, you know? Uh, perhaps fittingly so, right? Uh, you think about firefighters, you think about people who save lives and heroes and that kind of stuff. So a nice central location. We'll add some statues. Make it all, all done up. We'll do some statues over here and stuff as well. Um, all right, where to put this hospital, though? Right over here, right by the bridge. They'd be able to service this half of the town as well. Some overlap, perhaps. This large hospital, though, is more ideal, I think. Let's see if we can't find this large hospital. Good. And it's like more space, obviously, but... Infrastructure, all those roads are blocking you over here. Down over here, we'd have to um, place all the uh, power lines again. Not a problem. Easy connection down over here. No real housing there, though. This seems a little too far off. We could go up over here as well, right next to the school. Maybe not a terrible idea. Come down from up top. Service all these guys. Service all these guys. Yeah, sure, that should do the trick. Why not? We'll, we'll, we'll see if we add a smaller one over here, perhaps. That might not be a bad idea, actually. So why don't we go ahead and dedicate you to the newer spaces? Go ahead and need flat terrain. Maybe one of those. Auto build. Take from center. Flat from this. Excellent. Cool. Oh. Hospital down. Do not auto build this. A hospital we can, I think, uh, allow our people to build. Our citizens can build this. Not going to hook up over there because of the footpath. Alright, so over here it is. Done. Cool. And again, employment, right? Construction offices. Let's go ahead and assign Zod Shaw, Uprising Grad. Good stuff. You guys are all being built. Let's go ahead and make sure that we have as many people as possible able to work these spots. Again, I wish I could more effectively and efficiently maximize the uh, workers dedicated to these areas. Come on now. All this construction has stopped. No construction offices assigned. Gotta look at that. You've got... Oh, well, okay. Some of them have assignments, so that's fine. As long as some of them are being worked on. I might want to add more uh, construction offices. Just so they're getting materials as well. Zavotsk, for example, doesn't auto-find these spots, even though it can definitely get uh, get materials down over here. See how much that helps. Down over here. Got two assigned. They're maxed out already. They're maxed out. Line up Rising Grad and Zavosk's huge construction factories as well. Or construction offices as well. You need to be maxed out. Again, we're waiting for materials. We're waiting for all sorts of stuff, right? There's these are these this is a huge set of undertakings. But uh, I just want to get this stuff out of the way at least. And as resources arrive, we can uh we can get into the nitty-gritty. All right, cool. This is all done. Now, it's been suggested... Well, a couple of changes have been suggested with regards to the uh, tracks down over here, and I'm fairly certain I understand the issue now. Um, and it has to do with... Hmm. Either these or these, and now it's slipping my mind, if it's going to be these ones or these ones that are impacting our, our top section. Either way, I'm going to tackle this later. Uh, I don't think it's as urgent now because I think our current solution, while it might not be um, optimal, I think it will work for what we need. And we'll tackle, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with any new issues that come up uh, when they come up, as they come up. Over here, we've got workers coming through and they've got jobs to fulfill, but they have no work they can do because they don't have access to all of the resources they need to perform their duties. Looks like power is a bit of an issue here as well. So why don't we go ahead and sort that out? Um, I'm pretty sure... Okay, you 
go out this way, you come down this way, pop down over here, but that's not good enough. The building is without power supply. Oh, it's not. It's coming through, it's just for some reason it's uh, reporting incorrectly. What? Well, hmm. We shouldn't be seeing power. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. So why don't we go ahead and pull out another line from over here. Go straight down to here. Here's what I'm actually going to do is um, pull this down to here. We're going to cancel this connection and this connection. We're going to connect from here instead. Um, go ahead and pay for all that. And then this one, I think, will continue straight down. And we'll place it somewhere down here. I get the substation set up. There's a decent central location. What about down over here? here. Pop you down here. That should be able to, again, power basically everything in the area. That should be fine. Pay for you and you. Stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I was like, do I have a fire station stuff over here? I do, but I don't have any... Um, our trucks, actually, that reminds me. We got two carried away up over here. Have we missed our... Okay, well, We have, in fact, yes, missed our fire trucks. But we have our ambulances. Move you. Of course, this isn't built yet. Alright, fine. It's a good bit of employment provided, though. Well, this is awkward. Back to those firefighters, I suppose. Fire, fire, fire trucks. Fire, I keep calling them firefighters, you know what I mean. Back to these, let's stack them. Um, well, what I could do, actually, I just realized. Well, we don't have an ambulance in the construction areas. We don't have a hospital. Keep messing these words up. <laughs> words are hard, man. Yeah, okay, I need, I, need, I need fire trucks. All right, fair enough. Well, need to remember to check on them. Back to our power over here. Pull you over to here, roughly. And pull you down. That'll do the trick. Go ahead and pay for you. Uh, it's also, sorry, been pointed out that there are actually faster construction, rail construction vehicles available. Uh, just in the base game, in the vanilla game. So... Is it the, uh, the laying crane? Oh, or the EDK-300. Oh, damn, that's... That's new, right? Speed level of 70? That's definitely new. Okay, well, in that case, why don't we take a look at our, uh... current mechanisms. Why don't we sell them? Time to upgrade a little bit. Time to upgrade. Do these things work that much faster? Let's get, let's get four. Why not? We have the money. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see just how much faster they are, and if they, if they're able to move that much faster and uh, and get all this done with less issue, then that would be uh, fantastic. Don't know if they'll be able to get in over here. No, they wouldn't be because they'd have to come in from the other side. All right, fair enough. Ah, uh, is it time? Perhaps. Are you seriously still slightly over, eh? Well, that's a problem. Maybe not the end of the world. Maybe not the end of the world. Alright, so what's the deal over here? Do I want to connect all these guys up right now? My concern... You know what? No. We'll do it later. I want to focus on our nuclear city planning. Because what's going to happen is, as we're building the nuclear city, a lot of that stuff we can focus on, right? So why don't we just leave that be as it is. Uh, yes, a bunch of people going to work and not really doing anything. And yes, it's a little unfortunate, but... It's fine. It's temporary. Uh, just for, like, the rest of today's session. Because I do, like I said earlier, want to make progress with the uh, the nuclear city. These guys are looking okay. Still missing some resources and whatnot. Oh, they'll come through. They'll come through. Alright. Up top over here. So, first order of business is to find our uranium ore. It's somewhere over here. Take a look at us. It's, it's, it's daunting. It's daunting, really. Um, to look at a new... Not just a new city entirely, but also to look at new, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
materials and, and resources and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Where, where is uh, energy related, of course? So how does this work? We've got our uranium mine, which needs to be processed, stores uranium ore, turns it into uranium oxide. Then uranium oxide and chemicals together make UF6, which is then taken to the nuclear fuel fabrication um, structure, I suppose. To become what? To become nuclear fuel, which is then, I assume, taken to one of these guys, either a twin reactor or a single reactor. We're probably going to go with a twin reactor. And that needs 0.08 tons of nuclear fuel to provide 0.04 tons of nuclear waste and 9,360 uh, megawatt hours of power. Holy crap, look at the difference. 1,400 versus almost 10,000. You kidding me? That's awesome. That is a complicated process, though. That is a complicated process. Hot damn. All right. Um, so we need 0.08 tons of nuclear fuel. And this produces 0.095. Okay. So one nuclear fuel fabrication building will be able to sustain one twin reactor nuclear power plant. And have a little bit of surplus. The tiniest bit of surplus, but that's good. good. Okay. But we need 0.4 tons of UF6. You need power, of course. And you need 0.75 tons of chemicals. So to get 0.4 tons of UF6, we need half a uranium conversion plant. So still we have a one-to-one -one ratio over here. Now this thing needs 42 tons of uranium oxide. No, sorry. It needs 2 tons of uranium oxide and 0.21 tons of chemicals. Okay. Looking at a total of 1 ton of chemicals for the entire area. Alright. But to get 2 tons of uranium oxide... Ah. There we go. We need... 2... Well, 1.5, whatever. Uh, uranium processing plants. Which will need 36 tons of uranium ore per day. With... Uh, I guess we've got an auto build to see this number. So with 100 maximum workers, all working perfectly efficiently, we would get 750 tons of uranium ore per day. Okay. So... Our ratio should be one, two, one, one, one. And we should be fine, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. We should we should be able to pull that off. We should be able to pull that off. Alright. So the uranium mine, we need just one of you. Extremely, extremely densely available here. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. Um I kind of want to try and be realistic about the distance to the farms as well. You ready to mind? This is all empty space, right? This is room for more farming as well. That's the other thing is like what I'm thinking is um, our, our farms need to expand down over here. We're probably going to do a lot of farming in this area to help feed the uh, new city. And we're going to uh, uh, we're going to have that farm, that set of fields. And we're also going to have a set of fields somewhere down over here. Now, it's been pointed out, my original plan was to have fields down over here. But it's pointed out that it might eat into our expansion of the city itself, which is a very good point. Um, however, that's going to—that's kind of like inevitable, I guess. We could instead have another farm area over here, I suppose. It's very far away. But then as the city grows in this area, we would have all the farming happening over here, able to feed... The folks up there now there is also the uranium available here actually oh, okay so we're gonna have uranium over here there's a nice pocket here i feel like this is where like maybe maybe down over here we add some more farms just to mirror war stock off in the distance there we add some more farms down here just to help sustain some of the uh the, the population up over here maybe, maybe that's the call 
Again, let me know what you think. I'm thinking, yeah, down over here we have our industrial and we have our... I'll leave a bit of a buffer. I have a huge area for farming, actually. This is quite nice. And that leaves enough room for the city to grow as well. And for us to produce food. But that's uh, that's for Uprising Grad and its satellite cities. Up over here is where we're going to do the farming for our nuclear city. Uh, now, we do have food surpluses, I think. Yeah, we, we got food surpluses. Um, again, when I said I got to, like, fix my, my exports, I also kind of mean internally, like, like intra-city exports and, and transportation of goods. We got crops, we got food, we, we're actually doing well up over here, but I'm not distributing these goods well enough, and that's what's causing a lot of issues here and there. Uh, you know, not distributing... How can you have... Let me just look over here, real quick, real quick, real quick. How can we have 22 plus 18, 30, 40 tons of food, all up and around Train Rexky? 40 tons of food? And meanwhile, all the way down over here, we're facing a shortage. Yeah, you know? like that's, uh, okay, to be fair, there's 69 tons of food. There's a nice amount of food in the warehouse right now. But, uh, but the meat, you know, think about the meat. Okay, we got good meat here as well. All right, you know, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. So I guess what the issue must be is uh, with regards to... Ah, we good. It's just these uh, these guys need to move a little bit faster. I take it back. I still have to figure out how to better distribute some of those resources, though. It's still it's still a concern. Uh, stadium's working well for us. Um, obviously, it had to... night Nightfall had to come through. Wish I'd talked about my farm plans when it was nighttime. But uh, it's actually... Maybe not too bad, because what we can do is... You know, all this lights up, right? Oh, it's really bright. It, like, burns my eyes. All right, this is a big enough gap. If we go ahead and mine over here, if we actually do... Where would the plant go? It's a fairly large plant. It's a fairly large plant. And actually, what is... What is... What is that? Pollution, I assume. I assume it hooks up to the cooling tower. Yeah. Well, not pollution, but I guess gases. Fair enough. Um, we've got a lot of outputs for the waste, I assume. Cooling towers can go on either end. I say cooling towers, but we've got in and out. I assume... Yeah, huh, interesting, actually. I'm not, uh, not entirely sure what the loop is supposed to be. I assume... It goes out and then back in at the bottom there, the little brown markers. It goes out and then back in is, is what I would assume happens. But uh, who uh, who knows? Maybe somebody in uh, in the comments. Feel free to feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But that's my assumption right now. It's okay. We're just planning today. I don't think we're going to get to finishing any construction today. We're just planning today. There's a good spot over here where we can actually build the plant. And I quite like that. It's far enough away from the airport. You can see it on your way in. But, you know, not it's not so close that the plumes will uh, will obstruct any pilot's vision. And uh, it's still not too close to... Like, we can still have a buffer for the farming that's happening up over there. So I think that kind of works. Fair enough. Still have to flatten this train. We might move up a little bit further even, maybe. Might flatten some train over here and plant it down. Where is the uh, oil lake? Up over there. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Uh, the mines. Down over here. Got a lot of output. Um, conveyor, like spots that's good up by the river eh? and I go by it you fly in I'm just trying to think about the experience I guess um, for a for a local and for a, for a tourist we pop these down over here we need again one two one 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 right that is if this is working at an ideal rate obviously let's start with that let's start with that so let's go ahead and pop you down I mean, gee, you think a central location would make the most sense, right? So we take advantage of as much as possible. We got much more room over here for another one? Yeah, we do. All right, fair enough, fair enough. So let's go ahead and pop you down over here. Going to flatten this train. Of course, we got to pay for it. What I would actually like to do is go even further down. See if we can't uh, height from center. push down. I don't want to change the uh, the coastline here. Now we had previously talked about building a canal that helps uh, our ships cut right through and uh, 
and, and reduce the distance they have to travel, what I might want to do is build that canal over here instead. So rather than going around this bend in the river, they can cut through over here. And I think that will not interfere with our nuclear plants or anything. And it would it would definitely save a lot of time as well traveling. Rather than going all the way around here, traveling up and down this way, I think that'd be a lot better. Hypothetically. Uh, so that's 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 the uh, the thinking with regards to that. In case you think that I forgot about the uh, the canal conversation, I did not. I did not. All right, this should be easier to flatten now. Sure. This is going to be a very interesting uh, part of our city. Flatten a bit more. Going to be a lot of flattening over here. Another another war on soil. Flatten height from center. Hopefully not as big as the one for the airport. We should be able to smooth out over here, I think. Frame smooth. Maybe a bit more. There we go. Something like that. Sure. Do not auto-build any of this by mistake. So this gets popped down over here. Still needs a bit of flattening. That's fine. The reason why I want to put it right to the edge is because the, um... The river is, uh, unless we clog it up, it's unharnessable, so to speak. It cannot be, it cannot be, uh, ex exploited for, uh, for uranium mining. I think this is a decent spot. At least this way we're able to at least collect some that's in the river. Because there's, there's quite a bit in the river is the thing. I don't want to miss out on that. So let's go ahead and pop you down over here. Yep, not auto-building. Good stuff. Oh, I see. The radius is a lot smaller than, than it indicates. That's kind of weird. Well, this is still as far as we'd be able to get, so that's fine. Next one would be placed somewhere like over here, also a decent enough spot. And then we'd be putting some down across the river, I suppose. If need be. Right now, the need doesn't be. You know, right now we're fine. Um, so that's all good. Now, another thing actually I need to think about is the rail connections. Right now, we left some room up over here for tracks to come through. Wait, there's a building on fire. You should be fine. I, I have a little concern about uh, these guys having too much trouble. There's a... F oh, God. Ah, oh, God damn it. There they are. This guy... Stop it. Stop taking these things out for sale. <laughs> Just thinking about the firefighters. I was like, wait, hang on a second. I got some fire trucks on the way, man. <laughs> I don't know how many I've sold. I must have sold like 20 of them. God damn it. All right, come on. Delivery coming through. Again, this is a part of the thing that makes um, moving these vehicles around so... Uh, um, like, so this is a really fun aspect of the game is like doing all this stuff ourselves internally at our nation and whatnot. But the fact that I can't specify what buildings get picked up for export versus which get prioritized uh, for, for local use um, really really makes it more of a struggle than it needs to be. All right, so we got three trucks coming through for our uh, city center fire station over here. Fourth one about to be done, and then we need some for the, uh, the, the industrial area down south. By the way, for which I did get some great name suggestions. I'm still mulling them over uh, to pick one. It's always tough to, to make those decisions, but I'm, I'm still mulling them over. I did see your suggestions, and I have taken them into consideration. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying was with regards to train tracks, See, I left a gap over here so that we could extend this if necessary. Now the time has come. Don't know if that's... The, like, do I really want to go up and loop around and back down to connect down over here? Is that necessary? Or... Or... If somebody from Train Rexky wants to go to the nuclear city, are they better off... Yeah, because they'll get up on the train over here. Ooh, what's this? This isn't a jam, is it? No, okay, it's not. They'll get up over here. They would go down all this way, across the bridge, down this way. And what we need to do is we need to, like, build the tracks out over here or something. Oh, this is going to be a hot mess. Either that or they'd come down and... Well, damn. Got to figure out a way to get them across up over here with the tracks. 
that's going to be the real ultimate challenge, is making this work nicely. My initial thinking was that right after this bridge, we would split off, go up and across this way, loop back around, and then we would be able to connect over here. Like, it's not a bad... Uh, like, that's not too bad at all. Um, it would add more weight to this tunnel, for example, from Uprising Grad up that way for people who want to go to the nuclear city. Uh, but the problem is, yeah, from Train Rexky and from just St. Partia, how do you... How do we splinter off and, and head that way? Or do you have to take a boat? Is that... That doesn't seem like a very well thought out transit system. I would like my rail transit system to connect everything, so to speak, you know? Look at all the pressure we apply over here when uh, all the construction offices get to work. That's a good thing we have prefab panels and steel and bricks. At least there's that. At least there's that. We have more bricks, actually. We're, we're using them up at a decent rate now. Huh. All right. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll consider that afterwards. We don't have to think about that right now. We do have to think about it soon, though. The other option is we make a massive bridge going from up over here, down the river, across the coast, and over here. I'm joking, obviously, but I don't know if I want to do this. I left the gap, but I don't know if I want to do it now that the time has come. All right. So down over here. Um, we need a road. And, and the thing is, where, where the, the rail bridge is, the road bridge would likely be right next to it as well, just like St. Partia. We can do this if I show the wireframe. Oh, you know what? I guess we could kind of use the wireframe over here. Go ahead and hit N to bring the grass back. Do this kind of a thing. Yeah, seems decent. That's fine. A bit of a dip over here. That's fine. We'd hook you up like so. Yeah, easy enough. And obviously, again, when we have the other mines, we'd be able to hook up the same road. I want to get the uranium processing plant because we need two of these, right? 1.7 tons. We need two. Yeah. Again, that's if everything's working at optimal uh, numbers. So we have to be cognizant of that as well. I got to figure out how to get a bus stop in here. How about you? So uranium processing plant does have an intake. Good. Unfortunately, it's pointing that way. Not ideal for my, my placements. Uh, where is the uranium mine? Where is... Okay, this is also a spot for a uranium mine, potentially, right? We, we might want to have some up over here. Have one down over here. Why don't we get the uh, processing plant somewhere up over here? Yeah, just want to make sure there's a big, big enough gap up there. All right, so if I put this up over here, what I would probably want to do is... Hmm. Like this. Then I can get the uh, conveyor belt coming out from here, up and over. I don't know about going down, out, and over. That will probably not work. I could instead... I could do this as well. Demolish that. Go ahead and rotate you. Oh yeah, like that. Road is on that side. So if I do this instead... If I do this instead, go ahead and flatten a little bit more. We can go ahead and plant. Come on. Come on. God damn it, where there you are. We can go ahead and do this. Be sharp of a turn, that's fine. We're just too tightly packed over here. And step over. Pull you down to here. And I'll flatten. The auto build on. There we go. Nice and easy. Go ahead and hook you up like that. Sure. And the next mine, whatever can be over here and hooked up. What? But this is this is fine. But what this will allow us to do is establish the uranium processing plant, like so. Very much cleaner connection. Need flat terrain, so why don't we go ahead and level terrain height from center, auto build. Always get nervous that it will auto build one of these buildings. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't, oh, I get nervous because of a, because of how money used to be. It, it doesn't really make me nervous anymore as much as like, I don't want it to auto build, I guess. Nervous is maybe the wrong word. Go ahead and flatten all this out. 
decent enough space. I don't want to get rid of the natural beauty of our of our land, you know? I like our, our our terrain and how it moves and all that kind of stuff. So I want to try and retain it as much as possible. Obviously, there's limitations to that. I want to try. Push this back up. Like, we have these nice mountains over here, for example. I'd like to try and hold on to them. Flatten all this. I really hope the construction is progressing okay. I really hope there aren't any, like, jams or anything anywhere. I'm looking forward to that new notification system. I kind of downplayed it last session when I was talking about it. I, like, I was like, yeah, this is great. You know, it's cool. Um, I don't think I, 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 just, I, I gave it the justice it deserves <laughs> with regards to how much of a game changer it can actually be. So I'm excited for that, uh, you, uh, new, uh, notification system to come through. That seems like a natural inclination. <laughs> Can't tell in the middle of the night, but we'll, we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. We'll need a bit of flattening. Are you not hooking up automatically? There we go. Can't build you to infrastructure unless we're over here. Okay. Extend this road out. Got a little bit of flattening. that. Alright. Now over to processing plant. There. We'd like pop you down over here, let's say. Your output is over there. What are you outputting? You're outputting uranium oxide. Okay, so you pull in uranium ore, 36 tons. which we should be fine to produce. Yeah. We need two uranium processing plants. Yeah, so we need a second one. I guess we gotta flatten this entire section if we wanna, if we wanna do this. I wanted to keep this ridge intact, but I don't think that's possible. Because we're going to have these guys have a factory connection to the uranium conversion plant. Either a factory connection or it'll have to be a, uh, like a, a forklift facility and whatnot. Alright, fair enough. What if we get rid of you, get rid of you. Put this down like this as well, I was thinking. Right by the riverside. Adjust the coastline ever so slightly. The road isn't ideal. Yeah, honestly, the placement of of that conveyor um, connection isn't ideal either. I'll be frank with you. All right, here's what we'll do. Uh, flatten. Just flatten all this, unfortunately. We'll, we'll plant some trees down the line and whatnot. But for now, flatten that. Go ahead and demolish the road a little bit. Go oh, flatten away, flatten away. So what we're going to have to do is, um, not smooth, flatten. I'm so used to, fine. There we go. Flatten some of this as well. And again, we'll smooth this out later. Because what I need to do here is establish processing plant up here. All right, let's see. And this out this way. you out this way. Then we have our uranium processing plant. Over here. Not in that corner there. Like so. And then we have another one. Hmm. Roads are just not great. What if I flip you around like this? Like so, and then put another one down. Bit of a gap, obviously. Like so, let's say. I think that'll give us enough room. Alright. And the road 
and come straight up over here. Connect you and connect you. We need our... This is a... Well, exactly what I expected. Conveyor engine transfer. Is that, uh, is that what we're calling it now? I guess so. Get you over like this. Uh, flatten train over here. So let's go ahead and pop you down. Let's say like so. Gonna go with a higher one there, right? Gonna auto build. Oh come on! I need to get a construction office down over here faster, so I don't have to keep checking auto build on and off. I think that's like my first order of business. <laughs> over to here. Yeah, that should do the trick. Top one, pop you down. Flip this around. Ah, I see. I see. We're not liking that, are we? Alright, so what I gotta do then is, is, is pull out the mod. Conveyor needs to be three into one, but the high one. Pipeline, pipeline. 3 to 1, no road connection, conveyor tower, I think the conveyor tower works as well. One high input, six output. One high output, six input, sure. Oh no, actually, no, because I needed to, well, I guess I could do this. Need flat terrain. I have to take the bottom one if I have to. We'll need flat terrain though. Go ahead. Please tell me you'll work. Pop you down here. Come on. There we go. And then, hopefully, we can use our regular. Still nothing. Are you kidding me? What's the deal here? There we go. I move a little bit further along. Alright, let's see. So if I do this kind of a thing, we'll hook up. Then the infrastructure will not allow this to work. Okay, that's fine. Because what I'll do is... Hmm. Lower the train here a little bit. See if we can't do like an underpass kind of thing. I don't know if it'll work. Don't know if it'll work. I say underpass, I just mean like bring the road down a touch. All I really need is to bring the road down a touch. The dipping happening over here as well, yeah. That way you can basically drive under the conveyor belt connection. Hook you up. Pull you straight up over here. Over to our conveyor belts. Come on, baby. Yes! Oh, I love it when things like this work out. Cool. It's not perfect. I would have liked it to be, like, flat up top and then smooth, but... You know what? Actually, what we could do... What we could do is, um... Very carefully... Remove this. And I should be able to... No, of course not. Alright, no, it shouldn't be a problem, though. Should not be a problem. I should be able to get from center. Auto build. Flatten this. Just to make the road work a little bit more nicely here. Get some train smoothing going on as well. Not nice at all. Come on, man. Train flatten right from center. There we go. There we go. And then smooth out over here. That should do the trick. Of course, it comes up with a different issue. How about that? I'll take it. Now that turn isn't as good as it was before. You know what? I'm not going to get uh, the best of all worlds. Can't have your cake and eat it too, as they say. Make that connection. 
Come on, there we go, excellent. And then we'll continue, we can't connect like this, we'll have to continue up over here. But I want to make sure that my road connection is going to work, too steep of a descent. Alright, alright. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Not a problem, because what we'll do is, we will bring this road back up. There we go. Hopefully we can smooth this out. Alright, that comes out straight, good. Auto build off before I make a, hor oh, like a horrendous mistake. Continue moving you up this way. Excellent. Hook you up over here. And this isn't and this is even half of it. Hook these guys up, sure. We gotta talk about the forklift garage and the factory connections next. See what I was hoping for was uh was this guy would go up, but yeah, he's not gonna like this turning radius, is he? Hmm, okay. Gotta, like, give it some more room. Alright. Hook you up like so. <laughs> Get the crossroads up over here. We could also do the uh, forklift garage, actually, up over here. Because then, yeah, it'll hook up to, to that as well. Go ahead and use auto build to flatten some of this out. All right. Road needs to continue up this way. We'll have to like drop this as well. Oh my god, this is a oh my god. Ah, right, you know what, folks? You know what? This is a uh, a very interesting tract of land we're working in is going to be quite an undertaking. I think it's going to have to be an undertaking uh, potentially for next time. Because this is starting to get... Uh, what I want to do is I kind of want to like step back in between sessions, do a bit of planning over here. Uh, I did a bit of planning already, but I, obviously now that it's all kind of coming together, the, the, the reality of the situation is striking. <laughs> I'm comfortable with the amount of progress we've made today, though. I'll be completely frank. I feel like we've uh, we've established a fair bit of the uh, of the space. We figured out exactly where things are going. Uh, this is also good. I mean, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and actually, before I forget my line of thinking here, go to modding forklift facility road crossing. Flip you around. Right, work this like this, I guess. Because what I can do is I can yeah I can pop you down like this. Hmm. Like so, I guess. Alright. Boom. And then we're able to go to our infrastructure. At the crossing. Like so. That works a bit more nicely. Mm. Let's get the crossing down first. Like so. Get rid of this guy. And then get the uh, road crossing in like so. All right, was well, a little funky looking, so we can go ahead and sort that out. There we go. That looks much better. And then from here we can move on, and then over here we'll get the other uh, forklift garage. But yeah, folks, this is where I'm going to call it a session. There is quite a bit to do. There's quite quite a bit to do. I hope you enjoyed what we got done today, though. I'm uh, I'm fairly pleased with. Uh, all the planning work that we managed to, to pull off today. Need a name for it. Well, actually, I have a couple of names for nuclear cities and whatnot already, but feel free to give us more. This isn't the city itself. This is just the nuclear uh, production hub and area, I suppose. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, for screenshot purposes, and really not much else. There we go. Get, get There we go. Beautiful. Now you can kind of see uh, the plot of land. New clear objectives. Not so clear... Uh, guidelines as far as an approach is concerned. This is exciting. I love I love trying out new things. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. What I do more or less of. Y'all know the drill by now. Again, and as always, of course, a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time.
До свидания.